Hi, it's Jane, and on today's Tunisian Tuesday, we are doing the lattice stitch. Now, the lattice stitch is an odd number of stitches, any odd number. So, we're going to start with the foundation chain. Let's chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. I think I'm going to take that off there. I don't think I need that. Then we are going to pick up our stitches for that foundation stitch, foundation row, like normal, going in the back, back bump. Now I do prefer the back bump because it, um, it actually makes things a little bit easier um, and you don't have that um, curl so much with it. So you'll pick up all 15 stitches through the back bump. So we have 15 stitches, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We have 13. How, how did I do that? Because I only changed 13. 13 will work too. 8, 10, 12, 13. All right. Return passes. Chain 1. Yarn over. Pull through 2. All the way back. I will tell you this hook it's shorter, so it's driving me a little bit on the crazy side. But that's me. That's my OCDness. Maybe I will put the back in. This, these are Denise interchangeable. Okay, so for the second row, we begin with Tunisian simple stitch two together so go through the next two pull up a loop and then we will go into that first bar this stitch right here of that bar do a Tunisian simple stitch and that's what you're going to do all the way across pick up two then go back into that first stitch right there draw up another loop Go through the next two, yarn over, pull up a loop, then go through that first bar of the two, yarn over, pull up a loop. Go through two, yarn over, pull up a loop. Go through that first bar of the set of two, yarn over, pull up a loop. Go through the next two, yarn over, pull up a loop. Then go through that first bar, yarn, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you'll do that all the way down to your last two stitches. And we have reached that point. So now what we do is a Tunisian simple stitch in the next stitch. Then we'll go through the last two as normal, pull up a stitch, then it's chain one, then it's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way back to the end until you have one last loop on your, your hook. And I'm going to need to pull out some more yarn. And this is a two row repeat. Now row three begins with Tunisian simple stitch in the next stitch. Then Tunisian two together in the next stitch. Then you'll go back into that first bar, pick up a stitch. 
and that's what you're going to do across go through the next two yarn over pull up a loop go back into that first pull up a loop go through the next two bars pull up a loop go back into that first one yarn over pull up a loop go through the last the next two Go back into that first one, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you're going to do this to your last stitch. So then we've got there, yarn over, and go back in, pick up a stitch, and then we will do the knee close like normal where we go through both at the end, pull up a stitch, then it's chain one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two, all the way across, back to the very beginning. And I will do row two with you again. And it's a repeat of row two in three for the pattern. So this one starts with Tunisian two together, Tunisian simple stitch two together. So you'll do that, yarn over, pull up your loop, and then you will go back into that first one, yarn, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you'll just begin that row pattern for two, which is two Tunisian simple stitches together, and then go back into the first loop, Pull up a loop. And you will do that to the last two stitches. Oops. Didn't mean to go through that one. Don't do that. Now we have two more stitches left, so we will do a Tunisian simple stitch. And then we'll go through the last two at the end like normal. Pull up a stitch, chain one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you will do that all the way across until you only have one stitch left on your hook. Okay, now your next row is row three, which starts with the Tunisian simple stitch, this next stitch right here. And then you begin that repeat pattern where you do two Tunisian two together, pull up a loop, then go back into the first loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through the next two vertical bars for Tunisian simple stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, go back into that first one, pull up a loop, go through the next two vertical bars, yarn over, pull up a loop, go back into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through the next two vertical bars, yarn over, pull up a loop, go back into that first bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, then you will go through <coughs> The next two, yarn over, pull up a loop, go back into this one, yarn over, pull up a loop, then go through the next two, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through that first one again, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you will end with going through the two at the very end. Then it's chain one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the beginning. And those are the two rows that you will repeat over and over to get your pattern. This makes a great blanket, great scarf, great, it could be a great panels, you know, for sweaters, those kind of things, anything you like. 
And that is the pattern that it creates. It's very nice, very beautiful pattern. You can do this with two colors, um, but that gets a little more difficult. So we're just going to worry about doing some basic stitches. And that is it for today's Tunisian Tuesday. See you again next week. Bye.